The most commonly used movement formation in the United States Army today is the Fire Team Wedge. The Fire Team Wedge is a fighting formation that allows 360 degree security at all times, an equal distribution of personnel and weapons, and is easy to control. Generally, personnel are at 45 degree angles from one another and separated by 10 meters. The infantry squad is divided into three elements. The lead fire team, color-coded blue, the headquarters element, color-coded yellow, and the trail fire team, color-coded green. At the apex of the formation is the lead fire team leader. He is responsible for frontal security, en route, route selection, and land navigation. To the lead fire team leader's left is the automatic rifleman. To the lead fire team leader's right is the rifleman, compass man. To the rifleman compass man's right is the grenadier. Next in the order of movement is the headquarters element. At the apex of the headquarters formation is the squad leader. He is responsible for accountability, command and control, and whatever the squad does or fails to do. To the squad leader's right is the radio operator or RTO. To the squad leader's left is the machine gunner. To the machine gunner's left is the assistant gunner. Last in the order of movement is the trail fire team. At the apex of this formation is the trail fire team leader. He is responsible for rear security and assisting the squad leader in maintaining accountability and command and control. To the trail fire team leader's right is the automatic rifleman. To the trail team leader's left is the rifleman. To his left is the grenadier. The squad leader and the trail fire team leader's positions are not fixed. In other words, the squad leader can move anywhere within the squad and the trail fire team leader can move anywhere within his team to maintain control. The lead team leader's position is fixed at the apex of his fire team and allows him to perform his additional duties of frontal security, en route route selection, and land navigation. The squad leader determines what side of the formation the machine gun team travels based on his MET-TC analysis, the enemy's most probable course of action, and likely avenues of approach. When the machine gun is on the left flank of the fire team wedge, this is known as a heavy left formation. When the machine gun is on the right side, it is considered a heavy right formation. If the squad leader decides to move the machine gun from the left to the right flank while moving, he simply directs the machine gunner to do so. The machine gunner and the assistant gunner can then change positions in the formation with the RTO without halting the entire element. Note that the automatic rifleman in the lead fire team is on the left flank and the automatic rifleman in the trail fire team is on the right flank. In addition, the rifleman and the grenadier in the lead fire team are on the right flank and the rifleman and grenadier in the trail fire team are on the left flank. This configuration of the wedge allows the squad leader to engage the enemy in any direction with an automatic rifleman, a rifleman, and a grenadier while reducing the risk of losing two like weapon systems. The lead fire team leader is responsible for frontal security from the 10 o'clock to the 2 o'clock. The rifleman and the lead fire team to the automatic rifleman and the trail fire team are responsible for right flank security from the 2 o'clock to the 4 o'clock. The grenadier and the trail fire team is responsible for rear security from the 4 o'clock to the 8 o'clock. The rifleman and the trail fire team and the automatic rifleman and the lead fire team are responsible for left flank security from the 8 o'clock to the 10 o'clock. In summary, the fire team wedge allows the formation to have an equal distribution of personnel and weapons, 360 degree security at all times, and ease of control. When moving in the fire team wedge, three movement techniques are used. Traveling, traveling overwatch, and bounding overwatch. The traveling movement technique is used when contact is not likely. The distances between personnel stays the same, but the distances between elements is approximately 20 meters. This is measured between the last man in the lead fire team, which is the grenadier, to the first man in a headquarters element, which is the squad leader. 
the distance between the last man and the headquarters element, which is the assistant gunner, to the first man of the trail fire team, which is the trail fire team leader, is approximately 20 meters. The traveling overwatch movement technique is used when contact is possible. The only difference between traveling and traveling overwatch is the distance from the lead fire team to the headquarters element, which is increased to 50 meters. Specifically, the distance from the last man in the lead fire team, which is the grenadier, to the first man in the headquarters element, which is the squad leader, is approximately 50 meters. The distance between the headquarters element and the trail team remains the same at 20 meters. The bounding overwatch movement technique is used when enemy contact is expected. In the bounding overwatch movement technique, the squad leader, along with the headquarters element, usually stays with the overwatch element. The bounding element, in this case the lead fire team, will not bound more than small arms range or out of sight of the overwatch element, which is normally no more than 150 meters. The distances between personnel and fire teams are based on the ability of the leader to maintain control. These distances are sometimes determined by vegetation and or terrain. The leader may reduce distances between personnel and fire teams based upon terrain and or vegetation. The squad may be traveling in terrain such as rolling hills where one fire team is in the low ground and another is cresting over the top of a hill. This situation may necessitate closing the distance between the fire teams to maintain control. Conversely, distances may be increased in open and flat terrain. Maintaining control while maximizing situational awareness is the goal. Distances between personnel and fire teams may be reduced during periods of limited visibility such as rain, snow, fog, and smoke, and during the hours of darkness. In order to maintain control, the wedge formation may require transition to the modified wedge. The modified wedge is formed by contracting the flanks of the fire team wedge into two columns. Generally, personnel are approximately three to five meters apart and will vary as to visibility and terrain. At the apex of the formation is the lead fire team leader. As in the wedge, he is responsible for frontal security, en route, route selection, and land navigation. To the lead fire team leader's right is the rifleman compass man. To the rifleman compass man's left is the automatic rifleman. To the automatic rifleman's right is the grenadier. To the lead fire team grenadier's left is the squad leader. To the squad leader's right is the RTO. To the RTO's left is the machine gunner. To the machine gunner's right is the assistant gunner. To the assistant gunner's left is the trail fire team's rifleman. To the trail fire team rifleman's right is the automatic rifleman. To the automatic rifleman's left is the trail fire team leader. The trail fire team leader is responsible for rear security and assisting the squad leader in maintaining accountability and command and control. To the trail fire team leader's right is the grenadier. As in the wedge, the positions of the squad leader and the trail team leader are flexible and fixed for the lead team leader. The squad leader uses MET-TC to determine location of the machine gun.